the human memory is incredible. Although not always perfect, we are able to recall things sometimes in great detail that happened a long time ago. But how far back can we remember? Well, while some people are better at recalling things than others, for most of us, childhood memories can sometimes be a bit fuzzy. This is especially true for events that happen at a very young age. For example, it is very likely that you may have several memories from when you were around 10 years old. However, how many memories do you have from when you were 6 years old? How about when you were 2 years old? How about when you were an infant? Chances are, the further we go back in our childhood during our formative years, the fewer memories we also have. Yet, our childhood is a period of intense learning. For instance, we learn how to talk, how to walk, how to count, and how to write. This shows that during childhood, our brain is indeed able to learn new things and to store memories. However, we still struggle with these story-like memories from that time, as those types of memories are either missing incomplete or just wrong. The question is, why is this the case? This question will be answered in this video. Welcome to Psyched. Our inability to recall events that take place during infancy and early childhood is referred to as childhood amnesia. This is a term that was initially coined by our good old friend Sigmund Freud. Freud argued that during our early development, we experience significant sexual and aggressive impulses that we actively repress from our consciousness. Because of this repression, our memories from our early experiences are also repressed, and this is done to protect us from the horror and guilt that we would otherwise feel. Freud also noted that childhood amnesia is not an all or none phenomenon. In other words, he noted that we are not completely amnesic to our childhood experiences as we are able to recall a few memories from this time period. While Freud's notion of active repression of our memories as an explanation for childhood amnesia is rejected by most scientists of today, research do show support for the notion that childhood amnesia is not an all or none phenomenon. Research on this topic have in part focused on how far back a memory goes into our childhood. As previously mentioned in this video, some people have better memory than others and are therefore able to recall things that happened earlier in their childhood. However, according to research, people are generally not able to recall much that happened before the age of 2 or 3. After that, between the ages of 2 and 6, we're able to recall more and more memories. Thus, Childhood amnesia is best described as a two-stage phenomenon, consisting of a stage of absolute amnesia from infancy to age 2 or 3, followed by relative amnesia between the ages of 3 and 6. Around the age of 6 is when adult levels of recall starts to emerge. There are several lines of research that could be used as potential explanations for why we have childhood amnesia and why it seemingly follows these two stages. The first potential explanation that we will mention in this video has to do with brain maturation. Specifically, it can be argued that the brain structures that are required for creating, storing, and retrieving memories are not fully developed yet. When we are born, our brain continues to develop and mature throughout our childhood. The hippocampus, a brain region involved with the formation of episodic memory, has been shown to not be fully developed until we are around 2 years old. This may explain the absolute amnesic period in the first two years of life. The reason why we don't have any memories from this time period is because the brain structures that allow us to form memories are not yet fully developed. The continued maturity and development of the hippocampal regions and the functional development of the prefrontal cortex may support the continued improvements in our episodic memory during the partial amnesic period. Another potential explanation is that childhood amnesia occurs not necessarily because of an immature memory system, but because children under 2 years old don't yet have a cognitive sense of self to organize their memories around. A sense of self is needed in order for memories to be developed, as episodic memories necessarily involve the notion of me. Research shows that this sense of self tends to emerge when we are around 18 to 24 months old. This is evidenced by the emergence of usage of pronouns such as you, me, and I around this time. 
A third potential explanation relates to language. The ability to understand and use language is critical for autobiographical memory. The absolute amnesic period before the age of two is in part due to a difficulty in gaining verbal access to memories that were created before we acquired language. As language emerges and develops, we are able to use our improved verbal skills to continue facilitating the storage and expression of memories which may help explain our shift from the absolute amnesic period to relative childhood amnesia. Interestingly, research shows that the most rapid increase in a child's vocabulary occurs when they are between two and a half and four and a half years old. This coincides with the age in which most people are able to recall their earliest memories from. A fourth explanation argues that childhood amnesia could in part have to do with us simply forgetting some of the memories that we formed during childhood. This is supported by research showing that as we get older, the age we're at in our earliest memory increases. In other words, the earliest memories that older people have takes place at a later age in their childhood than the first memories of younger people. This suggests that childhood amnesia is not entirely due to a failure to create autobiographical memories during childhood, but rather it is a case of us simply forgetting them over time. Now, this is not a complete explanation for childhood amnesia. This is because during our childhood, we experience some very significant moments, and these moments are very unlikely to just have been forgotten. Nevertheless, forgetting may serve as one explanation for why some of the events during our childhood cannot be recalled. The four potential explanations provided in this video may all serve as potential answers to why we have childhood amnesia. Some of the events from our childhood are not recalled because we simply forgot them over time. Other early experiences, however, are not recalled because we simply did not have the capacity to store the memories to begin with. This could for instance be due to an immature brain system, i.e. the hippocampus, that has not been fully developed yet. It could also be due to us not having a fully developed sense of self to organize our memories around. It could also be due to us not having fully developed language yet, which facilitates the storing and expression of memories. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a like and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.